Mortal Kombat 1 just dropped a massive update and with it, drastic changes to both the competitive and casual meta of the game. There are 16 gigabytes worth of updates to go over, but I'm only going to go over some of the big stuff with you guys. So let's get right into it. If you want to follow along or dissect it yourself, a link to the patch notes will be in the description and I'm dying to know your guys' thoughts. So let me know in the comments what you think about this patch. It's about to get insane. And let's start with the general changes. Some of the general changes that they've made to the game include some move list corrections, some AI adjustments and improvements, which is the CPU that you fight, some visual improvements to several brutalities, which I cannot wait to see, and the huge one, Quan Chi, added to the game. Quan Chi in Mortal Kombat 1 was just shown off on the combat cast alongside Chameleon. And if you guys would like to see that gameplay, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. That was just a couple of days ago on the combat cast, Quan Chi with tentacles, baby. That's right with tentacles check it out some of the other things that they added uh in the game generally uh were the third and i believe final seasonal fatality uh sleigh bells they also added the winter wonderland variant to the gateway arena stage so another stage that has a holiday variant of it uh, they also added some holiday skins for katana general shao and reptile uh, in the settings you can now increase the rounds to win from three to five this is a big one. They added ticking sounds to the timer when you're under 10 seconds. This is huge because none of us knew when we were under 10 seconds in the match, even as commentators, as players, none of us knew. It was always down to the wire, but now once 10 seconds sits, boom, there's going to be a sound indicator, as well as a ton of other bug and issue fixes. Those were some of the general changes to the game. And now to the online changes, and this is huge for everyone, all of us, most of us anyway, play ranked we play combat league well now when you search for a match and you get a match it will show you the connection ahead of time and you have the option to decline it that is massive a lot of people wanted this when they see a terrible connection they can say nope that is not for me i'm gonna move on to the next one hope you guys really enjoy that one appreciate another one for putting that one in that's big I know everyone's going to be happy. And then just a lot of bug fixes, a lot of um, fixes to what they say to the King of the Hills. We had a lot of, a lot of issues with King of the Hills um, not working if the timer ran out, uh, just falling apart in general. And now some invasion changes. Nothing too crazy here. Just a lot of fix of visual issues, a lot of fix of minute gameplay issues and bugs, small talisman adjustments, as well as adjustments to the generation of the Gateway Mesa itself and dynamic towers and couldn't test some of this as well because the servers were down but i know a lot of you invasion heads i hope we're excited for some of those changes let's move on to the practice mode changes some fixes here and there on some minute things that you guys can read up on some of the big ones being that you can now uh remove the hud they added a show hud option in practice mode that can remove the hud as you see here also a unique setting to your meter you can set exactly how much meter you want whether it be one two or three bars you can actually set that now in practice mode as well as a couple of other things that you guys can check out there that is the lab that is the lifeblood of mortal Kombat and fighting games if you get deep into it that's where you learn that's where you know you you grow the brain and then you take it into the, into the match into the game again and apply it against others and now let's get into the character specific adjustments now with the character specific adjustments a lot of these were minor bug fixes visual fixes which i'm not going to go over i'm just going to go over the few that are really impactful that actually cha you know change the character um let's get right into it starting with johnny cage and it's a big one johnny cage uh you know very strong character very prevalent got a little bit of a slap on the wrist this patch uh, when show off parry occurs, combo damage scaling is no longer reset and correctly applied. So Johnny Cage's parry, now when it works and you get a punish off of it, it's actually reduced damage, uh, which is apparently how it was supposed to be, according to the verbiage on that adjustment. So Johnny Cage, a uh, little slap on the wrist right there, a little bit of damage reduction, only on a correct parry read. Rain, a very small change, but I think a really cool change. Adjusted gravity scaling on Rain God, which is when he goes into a stance and he lets the giant water ball rip. Rain God, when it is used for the first time in a combo, it has adjusted gravity scaling. So this is kind of a weird one that I'm still exploring, but it appears that it just has better a, a better launch when it's hit the when you use it the first time, when it hits someone for the first time and they're grounded. It appears to have a better launch for a bigger pickup uh, in combos. 
that's about what I've got taken away from it. Uh, goes in about 350 damage. Rain looking pretty good. Reptile. Got a couple of fixes here and there with his dashes. There was some weird stuff with the dash interacting with the corner and causing uh, your triggering the unblockable protection. Really weird stuff with Reptile that they fixed and they gave him something really cool, which is his back to his overhead, usually cancelable. You can hold it, turn it into a launcher, make it safe. Uh, really cool normal that can be canceled in a, a few special moves can now be special canceled or sorry, special canceled canceled into any cameo. Um, any summon cameo, like you see here with Motaro, Reptile can now really add some mind games when holding that back too. Everyone's like, oh my god, overhead, oh my god, low! And then, boom, cameo comes out. Completely different game. Reptile, looking pretty cool. Sub-Zero. An interesting first one. Spinal Tap, which is his overhead overhead string, now cancels one frame earlier and has one more active frame on the second attack. I'm assuming this is to try to increase its probability or in increase its lethality, I should say, on offensive defense. I haven't dug too far into this one, um, as well as the next one, which says that the enhanced ice clone can now be performed for one bar of meter, which is huge, by the way. Hello. And then further enhanced to leave two additional clones for an additional bar of meter, otherwise leaving only one clone that lasts for a long time. I tried this in practice mode and it did not do this whatsoever. It still kept costing me two bars of meter to do the enhanced ice clone. I don't know if I'm just a scrub or not. I couldn't figure this one out. If you guys did, let me know in the comment section if I'm just, you know, a scrub. I'd appreciate that. And then the last one is Omni-Man, nothing specific, but there was just a lot of fixes done to Omni-Man with his stance and how it interacts with things. Um, the Mustached Man just got adjusted, fixed up a little bit, nothing up or down. They kind of like him as is. Cameos. And if you thought the character ones were in any way, shape or form spicy, this is where things get really crazy because cameos really are Mortal Kombat 1. They're the lifeblood. They're, 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 they're what you need to kind of get to the end game if you're trying to play this game at a high level. And let's get started with the first change. It's going to Cyrax. Cyrax Net now drains meter shades of Mortal Kombat 9. This is scaring me. I believe the EX version operated that way in Mortal Kombat X as well. Uh, but if you get hit by the Cyrax net, it will now drain meter and quite a bit of it. Uh, so Cyrax, getting a little, uh, getting a little bit of his old school uh, mechanics added to his cameo. Love to see it. The next one on the list, a lot of changes, although mostly minute. Uh, Darius got a completely new move added. So this tells us that they, you know, in the future we could see just completely new moves added to these cameos and that could be some ways that they adjust them or try to make them better like we see Darius here. That's really cool. A completely new ambush attack um, that has a cool mechanic to it. It, it. You can only summon it if the opponent is knocked down or as they are getting up from the ground. Um, so you can summon it, go for a mix up. Really cool added, uh, added juice there for Darius as well as so, some cooldown reductions it looks like to a lot of his variations of his moves. This one's a little crazy. Goro. Goro's punch walk getting adjusted in this patch. Now very plus on block, less pushback, and less recovery. They buffed punch walk. Let's go, baby. Punch walk is in season. The prince is looking good. Kano. The eye laser is now a mid. It was a high. It now does 10 more damage. It does increase damage on block and fix some of the issues that were surrounding it. So Kano, uh, a move that you just never saw really in play, getting some adjustments, looking, looking like it's gonna be more of a tool. Mid projectile, very strong, I think, in any fighting game. And now the big one. Increased Buzzsaw's main fighter recovery on block by five frames. This is, of course, Kung Lao, the cameo that no one can seem to stop talking about right now. It's all you see in all the top eights across the realms. But will it be the case moving forward? Because now, instead of being plus two on block, Kung Lao's low hat is minus three if done in block pressure. It doesn't change any other properties of it, so it's still going to function the same way. People can still summon the hat and then do blah, 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 and then and then keep themselves safe with the hat. All that's still going to be in play. It looks like mix-ups are still going to be in play. It is just less detrimental on block in the pressure. You will have a turn every single time that you block it, it looks like. As long as you have a quick mid, that is. <laughs> so Kung Lao, slap on the wrist. 
And now the one that I am most excited about, Motaro. Motaro got two huge changes. Reduced recovery on his reflect and moving reflect. Reduced recovery on his tail shot. His tail shot now reduced pushback. Now 10 more frames of block stun. This is plus 13 on block. Right up in your face. These are insane plus frames. This is OG. You don't have a turn anymore. And Motaro's coming back quick. He still has his teleport. Uh, he still has his turret. Yeah, Motaro might be completely might be i think he is 100 percent could be a uh, meta cameo in this patch he might be broke as he should be and now scorpion when using his get over here cameo which is when he pulls you away it has reduced recharge now and his overhead is safe on block that's huge a safe launching overhead for everyone in the game the downside if it's up blocked very negative on block but scorpion getting some extra flames going in the cauldron in this patch sector got a flamethrower buff now quicker more block stun less recovery overall just buffed across the board now can combo into it easier it leads into restands really good on block this is going to be a fun one for sector cameo mains next one gonna be sonya bleed leg grab now has up block vulnerability apparently it didn't it was it was invulnerable to up block before now recovers 18 frames faster on block or miss so there's a lot less recovery on leg grab on whiff energy rings now a mid increased damage scaling increased block recovery when fully charged has a different hit reaction they made her rings very lethal mid they're going to be forced to deal with no more just crouching disrespecting it no you are holding mama blades pressure and lastly, Tremor and Shujinko, they got some health buffs. Going from 300 to 400, you're going to have more health on your character if you're using Tremor or Shujinko. Hopefully that helps you guys that are struggling out there with Shujinko and the complexity of both. You know, they're the, probably the two most complex uh, cameos that exist, and it looks like they're going to be rewarding you with some more health. So that was the big patch that just hit Mortal Kombat 1. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out and subscribe to the Coliseum for all things Mortal Kombat 1. We have another season coming up of competitive tournaments where we raise huge prize pools for players and we can't thank you enough for your love and support there. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time here at the Coliseum. The Cano... Cano? What the f***? The Cano! I'm going to redo that again because that sounded f***ing weird. We're going to cut that like 20 seconds ago. Ooh.